uh, are here. So I think if we start this off, Stuart, obviously people will be joining off, joining us throughout the session, if that's okay with you. Um, welcome everybody that's here today on the uh, Kia Sierra Direct Connect webinar. Uh, thanks for your attendance. Thanks for giving me your time today to, to jump onto the session. Hopefully you'll find it beneficial. Um, if throughout the, um, the session you, you have any questions you need to raise, you should see on the toolbar a, a couple of boxes with a question mark which takes you into a Q&A piece. If you file any questions through that piece there, um, I will be able to answer them at the end of the session. I think that's the best way to do it. And also I need to make everybody aware that this is being recorded. We've got people that are unable to attend today that have asked for recording of the session. So if there for any reason at all somebody isn't comfortable with the session being recorded or, they, or their questions being recorded, can you raise that in the question part, ironically? Uh, and then we'll discuss what we do about the recording piece from there. But all things being equal, welcome to the session. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming along to the webinar. And um, let's kick it off. OK, so obviously you, you guys know why you're here. And uh, as I say, I can't thank you enough for giving me your time today. I'm Scott Fawcett. As it says there, Sales Director for Communication Services, so pretty much in charge of anything which is sales related for the non-print side of the business, which, which incorporates the unified communications, the mobile piece, the connectivity piece, anything which comes under communication services. Um, I've got with me on, on the call today um, Stuart McDonald, who's our UC Solutions uh, Sales Consultant, and also Anthony Sissons, who's our Technical Architect around the UC Solutions as well. We're going to take you through an overview of the Kiosera Direct Connect product look at some of the solution components and obviously a few some benefits and, and go through some case studies there for you. At the end of the session, as I touched on previously, we're going to a Q&A. So if anybody has raised any questions throughout, um, we'll, we'll, we'll cover them off at the end. Uh, just a very brief overview of Kiosera. Um, I'm sure most of you are aware of, of, of who we are and kind of what we do in the world. But as you can see in there, we're in the UK element. We're a £160 million uh, pound revenue organisation. We've got seven locations across the UK. Uh, if you take the, pr the print side of the business and the document management side of the business, there's 55,000 machines in field or MIF as the guys would call it. Uh, and as the UK entity of Kiosera Group, uh, there are 500 uh, employees there or thereabouts in the UK currently. And this is a slide, it's an overview of our services. So obviously we're on the conversation today to look at what we can do is around a communication piece and look how we can get utilising uh, voice and teams together to give a full collaborative experience. But as you guys may or may not be aware, the portfolio of services extend way beyond just the communications arm or the print arm where, where, where a majority of our customers sit. You'll see there, you know, we, we, we're offering solutions and services around content services, connectivity, IoT, which is the buzzword at the moment, uh, the document solutions, which is kind of where we need our name, but also in unified comms where, you know, clearly I sit. Pretty much all of this is wrapped around anything as a service um, you know, to deliver a comprehensive solutions and services portfolio, as it says at the top of the slide. So I think, Stuart, you drive from here. Um, so, yeah, as Scott said, um, thank you very much for coming on today. Um, as we said, we're, we're here today to talk about the um, integration with Microsoft Teams and the telephony platform. So what we're going to do over these next couple of slides is just give you an overview of what the market looks like at the moment, what the customers challenges are and what they're looking for. And then we're going to pass it over to um, Anthony Sissons, who's going to talk in a little bit more depth around the actual product set itself. So what I'd like to show you on the first slide um, this is just to give you guys an understanding of where Microsoft Teams are in the world at the moment. Um, ever since COVID-19 has kicked in, um, Microsoft Teams has begun, become the sort of go-to tool of a collaboration for a lot of customers setting up remote workers and home workers during these times. So what I've just got in front of me here is a, is a few headline numbers just to kind of give that understanding of where Teams is in the market at the moment. So as you see there, as of the 31st of March, Microsoft reported their biggest daily record of around 2.7 billion meetings being held a day. So you can see the dramatic increase of people using this Teams infrastructure. You know, one of the other members is sort of during the COVID-19 lockdown um, and the way that people started to look at rethinking the way that the business work, it's become now that the unified comms has become a business essential rather than a, a nice to have. So Teams has become a major go-to platform. Um, and as you see from the last one, as of May 2020, Teams has actually jumped up by 70% to 75 million from 44 million in April. 
so this is just really just to show you guys Microsoft Teams has increased and is, is becoming the go to tool for a majority of companies, which is why it's so important now that companies are looking at how they can integrate their day to day run and their telephony platform into their Teams environment. So what we want to show here is, you know, is Teams enough for your business collaboration at the moment? So the way that Microsoft Teams works historically and what people are using it for now is in external and internal meetings. Um, just being able to have those interactions with clients and internal calls, but they've not been able to actually route any voice calls through this. Um, so we've gone around and said, well, what can we do as a business and how we can improve this? So by offering the solution that we're looking at talking to you about today, we've managed to look at a number of different things. So we're, we're able to be able to give you an a onboarding support with flexible deployment within the solution. We're also allowing you to be able to port existing numbers into Teams, which is a very, very, very important part with Microsoft at the moment only being able to utilise new numbers. We're going to allow you to make and receive calls via the Teams platform. We're going to effectively manage all incoming calls as if it was part of a telephony or a PBX solution. We've looked at a comprehensive call recording package. We've been able to build an itemised billing and call bundles wrapped around the service. And we'll be able to give you round the clock help support desk. Um, so it's a wrap round through a managed platform. So obviously some of the challenges, we've been speaking to clients over the last, especially the last few months and sort of way to get an understanding of what they're having and what the issues they're having at the moment. So on the left hand side, these are just sort of four of the key reoccurring conversations we're having with clients. You know, what are you looking to achieve by integrating with Microsoft Teams? And as you can see, you know, the first four, we want to continue to provide consistent user experience at home. We also want to give excellent customer experience to all our clients. We want to ensure regulatory compliance and best practices still kept up. We also want to look at minimising complexity. So we, you know, we've looked at investment into new or into phone systems over the last couple of years. We want to optimise those costs. And then the last one was really, we're looking at enable business continuity. And we also want to look at DR strategies by coming into Teams. So how do we do that? Very simple. We've got a couple of different options on here, um, which we will go through in further slides later on, but we're going to be able to allow you to have and make receive internal and external calls through your Teams, whether that's a standalone or whether that's a, uh, through your PBX. We're still going to be able to help you maintain your compliance. We're going to improve the quality of service. And as this becomes a new way of working, we're also going to look at optimising costs. So what we're going to allow you to do as part of our managed service is rather than having multiple vendors, we can actually wrap this service around a managed support contract and manage every single aspect of your telephony platform and manage that in one space and one product set. And with DR, you know, look, we're going to be able to guarantee you that if you lose your team's connectivity for any particular reason, we'll still make sure that a call will never be missed. So your customer calls will always be brought through to you. Now we're going to go into a little bit more depth around this as we talk on the next few slides with Anthony. Um, Anthony's going to talk you through the actual product set. Um, but this just gives you an understanding of some of the conversations we're having with clients, what they're looking for at the moment, what they're trying to achieve. You know, a lot of customers went out there and they deployed Teams, but they didn't think about the telephony part of it. And a lot of companies out there have got Teams and they've got a lot of their clients just, or their, sorry, their employees just using mobile phones. So they're, they're losing calls, they're not managing that call flow properly. This will allow us to deliver that. So the next part I'm going to be passing over to will be Anthony. Um, Anthony's just going to start running through the actual Direct Connect solution overview. So over to yourself, Anthony. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk to you briefly around the um, items that make up our solution, where that solution potentially fits within your existing infrastructure and what that looks like as a deployment. So we're just going to start with an overview of the, the, the products that make up the solution. So the direct routing piece is split into two, two categories, really. So there's the direct routing piece, which allows us to push DDIs direct from our carrier partner into your team's environment via uh, SBCs. And then we wrap around that SIP trunk call manager that allows you to have manageability and some more traditional PBX functionality around the top of that. 
um, allowing things such as call routing, uh, voicemail, call reporting, that kind of thing. We've also got a, an embedded call recording product um, that allows for a more enhanced call recording solution to what's included within Teams. And then we can also look at how we can integrate into an existing PBX infrastructure that potentially you've already got a large investment into. So we do this by splitting um, the customers into two, two requirements really. One is an organization that potentially doesn't have a PBX or has a legacy PBX and they want to use only Teams as their primary voice um, solution. So that allows to give you direct routing with some call recording and then some over the top functionality in the SIP trunk call manager. We'll be able to port all your existing numbers away from your existing legacy infrastructure and it allows us to manage those numbers end to end. The second option is if you already have existing PBX infrastructure, we can in essence have your team's users as extensions from your existing PBX, allowing you to make uh, extension to extension calls within your business from teams to a, a phone on a desk, for example. So I'm gonna start off with the, the direct routing piece. So this is quite straightforward. So we've got a platform with our carrier partner um, and this allows us to take your existing DDIs, port them into the cloud, give you some wraparound with the SIP trunk call manager to give you call control enhancements. And then we push this through um, the carrier's SBCs, direct into Office 365 and into your organization for your team's users. What this does is gives your users a, it will give them a dial pad on their teams and then they can make and receive external calls uh, in the normal way. Um, as well as the normal internal calls. We can also wrap around that some good call bundles and some other functionality stuff that we can support with as well. So we're going to have a little bit of a look at the SIP trunk call manager product that wraps over the top. So as you can see, there's a whole load of functionality that we can include in there. The really, the really good added benefits of these are particularly the, uh, the DR, so if, for example, like Stuart said earlier, if your team should happen to fail, then we can route calls to another location, whether that be people's mobile phones or even home phones. But we can work with you and build a really good, strong DR strategy in case Teams isn't available. But it also allows us to do is give you some really good reporting as well. So because a missed call costs every business money. So if we can manage those and understand where they're happening and why they're happening, then that adds you a real benefit over the top. Um, for the direct routing piece and obviously we can offer demonstrations around this because there's far too much functionality to go through on this slide deck but as you can see it's quite quite in depth and there's quite a lot of stuff you can do with that and we also offer a call recording product that's embedded into teams this allows us to record the end-to-end -end communication so not just voice but also the chat video calls meetings and it's all compliant and stored in the Azure environment um, through our partner that we work with for the call recording piece. Now Teams does come with some call recording, but on the next slide, you'll see there's a difference in functionality for the amount you get with our call recording product. Um, it's compliant, it's PCI, and it's stored in, in a manner that you would expect it to be stored. So this is the, this is the difference between what you get with Teams and with our call recording product. So you can see is the right to delete for the GDPR purposes, it's PCI compliant, there's a good trail log, and it's all embedded within Teams. Again, we can offer demonstrations on this um, because it's really worth seeing. It's really quite a very powerful tool. And then we're gonna move on to the existing PBX infrastructure. So if your company have got an existing PBX that you have spent um, significant amounts of money on and you don't wanna throw that out, then we can offer you a, a solution that will allow you to embed teams into your existing PBX infrastructure. This is particularly useful if you've got things like contact centers or um, some other over the top services that you're using um, and people want phones on desks and you've, you've got all that infrastructure there already. What this allows you to do is to have your teams users, as I said earlier, as in essence, a, an extension from your existing phone system. This is done via uh, teleworker functionality uh, and a piece of middleware that sits in between Teams and your existing PBX. Um, 
this is really a powerful tool. It allows you flexibility, it allows the users flexibility as to whether they want a desk phone. So say if you're example, you've got a large MITEL infrastructure, it allows you to leverage all the benefits of that MITEL infrastructure and it allows you to just have all your user teams users also using that infrastructure as well. Um, particularly if there's things like you've got some core recording in there already, particularly on the trunk side and you've got a good um, set up with your SIP trunks, etc. This allows you to maintain all that and just add to it really. So uh, guys, so this is um, that, that was just sort of a, an overview of the actual product set. Um, one of the things that we uh, are sort of wrapping around this is actually part of our Kyocera managed platform. So it, it allows us to offer a number of different solutions around what we can do. So, you know, we said about the quick and easy deployment and provision, um, the itemized bill. So for easier management and cost control. Um, allows us to look at giving you a ticket system of raising and management of incidents. Um, we can look at resolution of services requests, including the RMACs. There's an escalation path um, internally and to vendors as part and part of it. And we can also look at reporting of a service and health schedule basis. So that's enabled by the Kyocera monitoring platforms that we actually deploy as part of this service. So these are this is quite a big USP of what other people aren't necessarily offering out as part of this wraparound service. So what, what kind of what you'll show you now is like the history of the, the way that we actually look at um, bringing clients onto board and how we work with you as a client. So, you know, part of the past was like the preparation. We look at the evaluation of it. We look at how we engage with you guys and transformation. Then we bring it onto the onboarding. So we can actually look at, as you see on the slide, it's, there's a couple of different routes that we can actually, as we start looking at the onboarding from the Curacy Connect part down to the um, PBX integration as a wraparound of the managed service. What we're trying to get to at the end is a, once we've looked at deployed in, we look at offboarding as a handoff. So what would usually happen around that is once we've hit all these key milestones, and we've got it all installed and ready. We would do a handoff then, which would be handoff to an account manager and a project manager to close that down, pass you over, and then you get you carry on with the QSE of journey. So we're not just looking at getting you installed and walking away. We pass you over to a team that's going to help you during your course of time with QSE, help you manage your platform moving forward. So why QSE Direct Connect? Uh, some of our competitive advantages. As we said, first one is easy onboarding, seamless integration. We work very close with you guys to make sure we give the least amount of disruption we can to the business. We, we are very flexible on the cloud deployments on how we actually look at bringing that into the, the your, your cloud infrastructure. We're in, giving you an enterprise grade voice platform and that's a major, major difference to the Microsoft platform. Microsoft don't put it onto a tried and tested platform. We will, we will actually introduce it onto a great voice, or sorry, enterprise grade voice platform. This is all backed up with a UK based 24 7 365 service centre that looks after you for our NOC. So we've got a network operating centre that will monitor this for you. We'll put that under a single platform of management. We also look at optimising the investment. So, you know, we, as we said earlier on, we appreciate there's people have spent quite a bit of money on existing phone systems. So we're not telling you to rip and replace. We're actually enhancing your current infrastructure and your investment. We've looked at security and compliance. That's a big, big plus for a lot of companies out there. And we try and make it a little bit more cost effective. So we look at what your RO will be on the actual infrastructure and, and actually deploying this solution. So kind of want to give you an understanding of the broad unified communications portfolio. Um, and, you know, as we said before, although we're talking about the collaboration path, these are just some of the elements that we start looking after. You know, we're still looking at the IP desktops, the mobile devices and collaboration software, which enables us to talk around the technology in a bit more detail. So the SIP trunking, looking at on-premise hybrid and hosted PBXs, as well as the 4G and 5G connectivity. And that opens up to all the applications that a lot of companies out there are running at the moment. So, you know, we're looking at mobility, we look at contact centres, we look at collaboration around sort of instant messaging, audio and web and video conferencing. We tick all the boxes around compliance. So, as we said earlier on, call recording and PCI. We also look at the measuring, so reporting. This has become more and more important to businesses. 
go back a few years ago, it was a big PLC, so I just wanted to run analytics on it. But actually, these analytics work very well for some of the smaller businesses, the SMEs. So we can now deploy that and give you those same kind of reporting by utilising these platforms. So just want to run through a couple of quick case studies. Um, just to give you a couple of overviews of a couple of the clients we've worked for. So first up, uh, Fulton's Law LLP. Um, they're one of the largest, or one of Scotland's largest um, full service law firms. Um, they've uh, looked at significant growth over a number of years. They, they came to us and said to us, we've got a few problems, a few challenges we're having at the moment. Our existing uh, UC infrastructure is a little bit disjointed. Um, it's not scaling as quick as we'd like it to. So they came to us and KSL came in and we looked at replacing their whole UC infrastructure. So we looked at their, their fix, their on-premise fix solution. We looked at their mobile estate. We also looked at their networking support on their wide area network, how we can improve connectivity and deliver a wrapped around service. Now the benefits for the customer came on that was, I would give you a quick deployment without any disruption, but the key one for these customers was the wrap around the service that we provided and enable them to actually have better interaction with their end user, their clients, actually helped them win quite a lot of tenders because they actually put our service offering as part of their tender response and they started winning a lot more accounts. So we, we kind of came in there, we looked at their infrastructure and we changed their whole way of working to actually help them benefit further down the line. So not just fixing the problem today, but how they can actually help win more business. We then got UCC Coffee. Um, we look after UCC Coffee UK Ireland. Um, they're a very fast growing company. Um, uh, they're very big in coffee machines into multiple businesses around the UK, around the globe actually. Um, they come to us, they had a couple of issues. They wanted to actually move away from an on-premise. They wanted a total end-to-end -end uh, cloud solution. Um, they wanted to cover multiple sites around the UK. Their current telephone system was very old and historic. You know, it's, it's over the last 20 years, it just hasn't grown with them. There was a major risk to their operations becoming impaired because the system they currently had couldn't be fully integrated in what they was trying to plan out into integration into their uh, CRMs and their software. So again, similar to the previous slide, we actually came in and looked at it and said, right, well, okay, we'll look at the unified communications as a whole. We'll look at your networks, so we'll look at your wide area network as well as your local area network. We looked at a hybrid cloud solution because they wanted a built-in resilience and they wanted to utilize some of the hardware that they actually had involved. And we also built in some professional services around it. So we put them under an MSA, a master service agreement, wrapped that around our Kyocera um, sort of service pack. And we built in a whole solution for them because they had ongoing ongoing deals that they wanted to look at later on. And, and some of the benefits from them was they got a service and scalable platform for growth. So we allowed them to have a platform that they could actually scale up and down as and when they needed it. We also improved their efficiency at the collaboration part. Um, and into their communications because they had bespoke software designed. And we also looked at the high quality of connectivity across their offices. A lot of their offices were running off of, uh, you know, really sort of ADSL and SDSL infrastructure. We brought that around and actually give them a better solution for that. But the most important one was we actually improved customer satisfaction. The feedback they got from their clients was the way that they was able to actually interact with their contact centers and their account managers and other areas of business actually improved dramatically because of the way we worked around their call flows and actually enabled agile working which is a buzzword around sort of the team side of it and how we actually helped them be able to make sure that every account manager or every person in the business could always take a call. So what I kind of want to take give you now is some, some key takeaways from what we've spoke about today and I think if you can come away today with some clear ideas of what the benefits of coming over and integrating Teams is are, are the following. You know, we'll, we'll still be able to give you a, an enhanced user experience, customer experience. So your end user, your client base will still have that first class interaction with you, you, your guys and your staff members will still have all the features and abilities they would have as if they were sitting in an office. We're going to be able to make sure you keep your existing numbers and that's for routing and all call centre functionality. So you don't need to worry about losing any of your numbers if you want to use integration with Teams. 
we can increase the visibility and control costs. So as we said earlier on, we can show you the cost against a traditional PBX purchase, but we can also show you the benefits of actually utilising your existing phone system and just adding on these features. We can improve compliance, for example, with call recording capability. So we can make all your home workers or all your team users being able to be full PCI and FSA regulated. We're going to give you a single platform. So we talk about reduced management complexity. A lot of companies out there will have multiple vendors delivering a service to get you the end product. We can actually reduce that side of it and actually manage your whole telephony and UC platform in one space. As I said, flexible way of deployment, we will work with you to make sure when we deploy in any of these services, it will be minimum sort of disruption to your your day to day working. And I suppose it's accelerate digital transformation. Um, we're looking at a more agile way of working, and I think this is a, the biggest sort of buzzword out in the market at the moment. With the COVID virus hitting and changing the way that companies are working, they've realised a lot of businesses out there have realised actually this is actually a better way of working. And we're now looking at how we can actually help you make that more of a reality rather than a, a wish or I'd like to have. So these are the kind of key takeaways. Um, it's just giving you a bit of an overview of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve with this product. At that point, I'd like to say um, uh, kind of just give you a, a bit of an overview of us as a company and um, the comprehensive services here. So for some of the guys that join us today and some of the guys that are maybe just sort of getting an understanding of Kiosk here for the first time, this slide is just a bit of a, a bit of an ecosystem, what we like to call it. Um, Kiosk here as a whole, we offer a number of different services. So as hopefully a majority of you will know, Kiosk here are, are predominantly a, a print company. So you know we can look at print as a whole from your desktop printers down to these multi-devices sitting in your offices. Um, we are full integration for UC communications, so we can look after every element you can possibly think of around communications. And as you can see from the slide, mobile just being one of them and uh, unified comms. We also look at uh, the process transformation. So this is workflow. We can come in and look at talking to you about how we can improve the workflow and how we can look at digital transformation and backups of files. We're fully ICT. Um, infrastructure, so we are fully Microsoft accredited. We look at SaaS backup as well as cloud infrastructure, and it's all wraps you around our service for our secure managed service. And this is this is probably the biggest part of it. You know, we we offer this service wrapped around all those four pillars. So we're not just looking at one particular pillar. We can wrap around these multiple products under a service. And as it says at the bottom, this is our connected ecosystem for digital transformation for businesses. So it just gives you a, a high level overview of some of the services that we can actually provide you here at Kiosera. So at that point, um, I'd like to say thank you all for listening to us. Um, I'd like to open up the floor now for any Q&As. Um, any questions are more than welcome. So I'll pass that over now, Scott. That's okay, Scott, I got this. And uh, again, uh, everybody, thanks for your attendance. There are some questions that's come through. Um, just to really, um, I guess elaborate on the point that, that, that Stuart and, and Anthony have made in there, that this is a completely scalable solution. So to give you some ideas of it, we've deployed you know, a handful of direct um, connects and some direct routing uh, licenses for, for people that wanted, I guess, uh, Teams integration over SIP, which has gone into you know, sub 10, said 10 users. We've also got proof of concept out for you know, one customer that's got 400 plus, another one that's got 200 plus users. So it is a 100% scalable solution. Um, and I guess while I'm on the, the the point about proof of concept, this is something that you did want to explore and, and you want to have conversations about. Obviously, reach out to your account manager or to to, to, to Stuart or to myself. Um, but we have got the capability and the facility out at the moment to offer a um, and 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 the service guys and the uh, project management guys don't really ask like me saying it this way, but offering a 30 day. I'm doing free and inverted commas, but you guys can't see that proof of concept trial. So effectively, we can get you a number of licenses in on a 30 day trial for you to take the solution on board, to, to play with it, to see how it integrates into your team's environment, to understand the benefits of the solution. No obligation at the end of that 30 days. Obviously, if you want to keep it in, then we build out a solution from there. 
if you've, you've you've taken it on board and you find out it's not for you for whatever reason, then we just take it back out again. But that's something which you guys may want to benefit from and certainly just have some conversations around. And if so, as I said, please just reach out to, to myself or your account management and, um, and, and we'll take it from there. Um, Anton Stewart, if you're on, we just had a couple of questions come through. I've been on, on the webinar. Uh, the first one was, uh, will it tie into Unify Systems? So, uh, I want to answer. Yeah, um, the, the short answer is I'm, I don't know, um, but I can go away and certainly find out and feed that back to you individually if that's okay. Uh, okay, Russell, so if that's okay, we'll take that and, and we'll you know come back to you on that. And on a similar vein, we've had another question come in to say um, Alcatel model uh, 4018 and 4028 handsets, can they be employed in this solution? Um, I'm assuming you know it's platform specific, but again, Ant, do you want to take that? Yeah, so if, if you're looking to redeploy the handsets in the direct routing uh, model, then no, they can't. Um, there is a an approved list of Microsoft because they are they are Teams handsets you need to use if you're looking at the direct routing piece. And there's an approved list from Microsoft that I'm happy to share. Sure. OK, is that uh, hopefully Rob, that answers the, the question on there again? If you wish to ask any um, any additional questions or, or, or any more questions around that, you know, please feel free to submit through here or um, or, or, or direct through your account manager. Hopefully, um, everybody's taken something from the webinar. Um, I don't see any more questions coming through, but like I say, please you know filter those questions however you need to. Take me up on the offer of the of the proof of concept in there. Um, you'll see how it can integrate into your solutions and systems currently in place, and you'll see the benefits of it you know, far greater if you're using the solution. Um, if there are no further questions and there's anything else for anyone to add, I think we will uh, tidy, tidy the webinar up. Thank you very much, everybody, for your time and your attendance, and uh, hopefully I will speak to you soon and, and we'll have some correspondence to and from on the back of this. Thank you very much, everybody.